Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Finding Data Friends. We all know what's going on and the plan is completely in order. Nobody panic. We are joined with a, another new friend today. I don't think any of us have met Andre before, so this will be uh, good for us to get to know you. Uh, but Andre, do you want to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure, sure. Um, hey, I'm um, ooh, about myself. I'm a Dutchie and um, I live in the center of Amsterdam which um, I'm liking very much, but I am a countryside uh, boy. Um, and I have been I'm in- i mixed messages. Mixed messages, huh? <laughs> and I, my partner, Carmen, dragged me here kicking and screaming, but I love it now. <laughs> she basically went, I am moving. You can join me if you want to, because she was oh. done, with, done with the countryside. The middle of the I, have, I have one quick question. Who was the one kicking and screaming? You or I, her? I was kicking and screaming, but I went along and I'm loving it now. All good. Perfect. Um, and I've, I've been in IT since 1989, the, the time before we had an email address, basically. Amazing. That's cool. <laughs> you know this scene in, um, uh, oh, what was it? Um, Mr. Bean where he sends a Christmas card to himself. He writes it, goes out the door, throws it in the letterbox, comes in and goes, ooh, uh, that's me. I'm sending my e my first email address. I had no friends who also had an email address, so I sent an email to myself, and I was completely amazed by that process. <laughs> I just signed myself up to all the mailing lists out there to make sure I get some email from time to time. Oh, yeah. mm. And now we're like, please, less email. <laughs> <laughs> Unsubscribe is the new subscribe. I guess. Yes. Yep. For sure. Very cool. Okay. Well, our first uh, question that we like to ask our guests is what their favorite data thing is. So Ooh. Do you want to share with us uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah. Easy one. Um, I have what? always... Uh, Nobody that, ever said that. No. Okay. So mine changes all the time, but I love uh, automation, right? We all automate things so we don't have to touch any more uh, keyboards and everything mm -hmm. goes automatic. And then... Real geeks don't uh, um, save the time. They just look at the automation happening on the screen, right? We love seeing So you're that. just watching it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but my current uh, favorite automation thing since I'm in data warehousing is DBT. The, the DBT, you remember BIML and SSIS packages mm -hmm. where you could automate the creation? remember? I actually oh. built an SSIS package with BIML this morning. This morning? People still use this. Look at that. I'm amazed. Uh, I see it sometimes, but not that much anymore. Um, so um, I, I think, um, sorry, because I have to step in. <laughs> Go so, for it. Um, it's a proprietary on-prem database that we're reading data out of. There is no way you can get that natively into any cloud. So it needs to end up in something proper like SQL Server. Um, to this day, um, for mid-sized companies, I think integration services is the best um, fit mm -hmm. for that, to be honest. And for integration services, I also have to say, I still think BIML is the easiest way of generating that. It's super fast. And if once you know BIML, and, uh, you, because the only disadvantage with SSIS is the dragging and the dropping. Although yep. the thing that annoyed me with the data factory as well in the beginning, unless until, until we started to use... Uh, to write uh, manual JSON. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, just automate the JSON creation. Um, so, okay, okay. so back to DBT. Back to DBT. <laughs> you said 15 minutes for my introduction, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Ish, ish. ish. Something like that. So DBT is similar, but for SQL. It just does SQL only, and you write placeholders inside the SQL for the, uh, the froms and the joins and everything. Uh, so when you run the command line, if you just go DBT run, it will figure out what queries need to run and in what order. So it will go, these 50 need to run first, and they can all go parallel, and then those three, and then those 40, and it's everything in order. It has built-in documentation, it has built-in uh, testing, so you can say, uh, once you create this table, all the, this, this is in there, it's called an ID, and it needs to be in place, and it tests that before uh, using it for other uh, stuff. So it's really cool. Uh, it's Python, but it's command line. Um, loving it. That's my current favorite yeah. technology. Yeah, very cool. I, uh, I have, can't I have to I say, while Andre was saying that, he sounded a bit like he was kind of in a, I'm going to say, 
at least to me, tin bubble. So I think that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Zencaster AI is better than I ever thought it would be, but oh, the the so the um, the sound. Yeah, let's see how this comes out on the other end, right? Yeah, yeah. In I, theory, was, I was still getting okay. your point, so it was good. Yeah. Some, sometimes but there's also that. This this microphone sometimes does a really good job, and sometimes it just switches to some weird. I'm in a big data center, and I'm gonna do all the noise cancellation things, and then it does even noise cancellation between here and there, and it's then it goes nuts. So we may Perfect. have to do this again. I will try the sound just and just as enthusiastic, <laughs> or make up. <laughs> I'll probably make up completely different favorite fam favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is not this is not, <laughs> like, this is not happening. Not this is mean. not happening. This <laughs> is. Are we are we breaking the fourth wall here? Is no, this talking about lovely. behind the scenes when we're not behind the scenes? No. Well, see, this is the thing. Nothing in this podcast is getting edited, uh, except for the first couple of seconds and the last couple of seconds. So what is happening is happening, unless there you go. Something really horrible is happening, but so far we only had that happen twice. And that horrible thing was that we actually lost um, our friend, um, uh, they entirely lost their internet connection, so they were just gone. That gets us to I a point, if, if our guest is not on the show anymore at all, that I'm not saying <laughs> it defeats the on. purpose, but... Well, we don't need a guest. <laughs> You can only make up so many things, right? Exactly. I mean, we tried um, talking in their voice and everything, but uh, there's <laughs> only... <laughs> Good luck with that. I think I I've really learned... appreciate... I've... Sorry, go on. I, I think I've learned English, most of it, from friends in Scotland when I was 17. So I've got this weird... Every now and then, uh, uh, somebody from Glasgow will think, is he making fun of my dialect or something? No, sorry. That's just baked in. That's just how I learned it. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. At some point, I really want to try this new AI stuff where you can actually, from what I hear, they now have this algorithm thingy where you basically only need like um, 10 to 20 seconds of somebody speaking and then it can basically emulate your voice. Yeah, that is um, terrible. Uh, it really is. However, um, in that case, we could totally change Andre's answer to what his favorite is. Just, I mean, it has very bad facets, but also it gives us lots of great options. You've already heard me say Bimmel, so you can just mix that in. So uh, uh, there's true. there's also that. <laughs> you just have. I don't to know why we would change it from automation and then watching automation run. So <laughs> I don't think we can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> there's oh. also that. <laughs> All you need to make this work is make me say somehow my voice is my passport. Passport. <laughs> what was the other one? Verify, please. Verify me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was thinking I of the exact same sure. movie um, before you even mentioned it. <laughs> For those that do not know, you should catch up. Sneakers. Not... Old movie. Oh, I was about to say we're not going to tell you which movie it is, but <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and we can't cut it out. You can use AI to say a completely different movie name. Exactly. Jungle Book. <laughs> <laughs> board games is my original. Games True. One that I fell in love with computers. With. That was 1983 or 84 or something. That coincided roughly with when the Commodore 64 came out. I mean, that 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 gives us an extra question for today's episode, which is: Shall we play a game? But <laughs> <laughs> Professor Falcon. <laughs> I only learned about this movie because uh, at bits the year uh, that it was. Uh, arcade games or whatever uh me and rob did like a theme for our pre-con and he was like oh we can use this movie and i was like yeah what is that movie <laughs> i'll go watch that movie <laughs> yeah. well yeah, given good. our audience i'm not sure you really wanted that to be out in the recording but um what's done is done yeah. um, the but problem we can is just... it came out before i was born so yeah well that is true for two-thirds of this podcast so I'm actually not quite sure when it came out. Oh. The board games, uh, 83, 83 or 84, or like somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It is only true for one third of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but we are all older than Taylor Swift. That there is also there is also that, um, ish. Except me, of course. Right, right, right. However, um, we actually talked about that after the recording of the previous episode, so people will right, be right. lacking a little bit of context, but. Well, if they joined our uh, subscription, then they would get to see the behind the scenes stuff and then they would get money and they would get trade secrets. 
Uh, here seekers. people pay for all kinds of weird stuff yeah. on the internet these days. So why not? the? Yeah. Do you want to see my feet? No, no. Sorry. <laughs> Back to the questions, Ben. Focus. What this is, is not happening? The paid one. <laughs> when are we starting the recording again? <laughs> so like, like I told you, Andre, we will never not publish an episode unless something really horrible <laughs> happens. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if we're there now. But we will just distract people. Um, I will also totally put that into the announcement tweet um, of this episode, just to be sure. The um, one YouTube, with feet. I YouTube think YouTube might uh, auto sub subtitle this, and then <laughs> bots might subscribe on mass. Exactly. I, I think great. this episode this is, is our breakthrough. Us. Not exactly the way we pictured it in the beginning, but <laughs> let let's distract people a little bit. Hey, Andre, totally random question. Go for um, it. If you're not watching very old movies and if you're not um, thinking if or if not this podcast will have its big, big breakthrough because we're showing um, Jess's feet on the internet, that felt so wrong on so many levels. Um, what's your favorite non-data thing to do Ooh. besides feet? <laughs> <laughs> also a very easy answer. Uh, so I, I used to have like computers were always my hobby uh, since since the 80s or even late 70s no 80s 80s i'm gonna go with mid 80s um so it used to be boring computer stuff as well just like uh, my job but um I, as you know you too know um i became a dad half a year ago and of course eric is not a thing but be, being a parent is <laughs> Everybody with older kids is going to laugh now because I'm just six months in. Is my, is my favorite thing right now. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, my life is completely upside down. I'm going to be 53 in a couple of weeks. Uh, so um, it, life is interesting at the moment. Waking up at five o'clock every day and playing with him for hours until work starts is uh, amazing. But, uh, so my favorite thing is becoming a parent, for sure. Awesome. Very cool. And we were lucky enough to meet him a few months ago now. Yeah. And he was a very happy chap. He yep. is uh, He is just in the phase that he, uh, he, uh, he doesn't hide behind mommy and he uh, likes friendly people that smile at him, that uh, he's okay with, uh, with that. So, uh, yeah. yeah he's, uh, was, that his, was that his first data conference? It was his first data conference. He uh, he enjoyed it. It was also his first medieval market with cannons and everything and music and fireworks. Yeah, and uh, he was fine. <laughs> that that is really weird because I mean that that's like an everyday thing everywhere. So how could this? Well, anyways, uh, I'm very glad that Data Grillin was his first data event that he will always remember. Um, I can also vouch for the fact that he's uh, in that phase where he doesn't want to miss anything. So I was lucky enough to have dinner with Eric one evening. Um, <laughs> where one table was rooting for him to fall asleep, but he was not playing along. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if there's more than two people looking at him and smiling, he will not fall asleep. Uh, if he, if Carmen wants to uh, make him fall asleep, or I do, then the other one has to leave the room. But because you're distracting him, <laughs> let alone a whole table. And by the way, um, as I just said, Jess, I was having dinner with Eric. Yes, interesting. What an interesting segue. Uh, Andre, the final question for our, our wonderful little podcast is what your favorite food is and what we might have for dinner together. Ooh, also very interesting and easy question for me to answer. So Dutchies have, um, especially when you grow up in the 70s and 80s, really boring food. You get boiled potatoes and you get some meat, usually pork. And you get uh, vegetables cooked to death. Uh, that happened for a lot of people. Um, and then I got um, a Slovenian partner, and basically their food was slightly different because the potatoes are boiled, then onions are added, and then they uh, mix it with the soup of yesterday to moist it a bit, and then they stir fry it and make little balls out of it. And um, they call this tinstan krompir, which is sort of kind of fry, uh, baked potatoes, but different, or roasted potatoes, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm loving it. There's even a society in Slovenia that uh, they have little pins and everything that wants to promote this as the main meal of the of the dinner. And then you have something else on the side, but the potatoes should be the, the main meal. They have cooking competitions and everything. 
I tried to join them, but it's for, it's for native Slovenians only. So unfortunately, but yes, the Not Slovenian potatoes are my favorite. Okay, perfect. I would love By to the way, remember that kumpir thingy, Jess? Um, I mm -hmm. was talking about that in our episode with Bob because I thought that what his double fried baked whatever potatoes um, oh, actually yeah. was until I figured out it's not. No, that was a weird American potato stuffed with innards. Yeah. Potato stuffed with potato. I'm still confused by yeah. that concept. And then double cooked. Why cook it twice? <laughs> Who knows? I'm pretty sure somebody put some thought into that. There are um, shops here in, in Amsterdam that have triple fried uh, uh, fries, potato, potato, potatoes. And once yeah, it's been, good. yeah, once it's been on, on um, um, uh, these, these apps that um, uh, like Twitter or um, yeah, yeah. Instagram. And it's I F especially as they call, they actually call them Instagram cues. Um, oh, TikTok lines also. Yeah, uh, we have a couple of them in town where uh, they have to hire hire security guards to keep the uh, the tourists from being run over by bicyclists and everything because their queue Amazing. is crazy for some reason. Nobody knows why, but it's probably because because the internet said so. I mean, that is yes, the perfect exactly. reason yeah, for everything, yeah. right? All right. Um, I would say we are at time. Excellent. So with that. Andre, um, pleasure meeting you, besides the fact that we met at Data Girl and, and actually six days ago at Data Saturday Rhineland. I mean, details from details. So good um, to be in Rhineland again. So good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jess. Thanks for having me. Um, we see all of you, hopefully, next week. All of you, millions, including all the bots that are now subscribing because... <laughs> um, <laughs> Welcome. Oh, and since we were speaking of um, subtitles, I'm pretty sure that YouTube will, whenever Andre says um, the Dutchies, it's going to make the dirties out of it. Um, I'm, I'm going to put a lot of money on that. <laughs> Just What's going to go wrong here? I nothing. Cannot, I nothing. cannot wait. <laughs> dirties and feet. This is the title of this episode. Oh, this is the title of this episode. Totally. Um, anyways, thank you again. See you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.